Hi friends, how's it going today? So today we're going to continue using Magical 8-Bit Plug 2 to create sound effects. Today we're going to be making sound effects for these two animations. Okay, if you're an indie video game developer, you know, working solo, I'm here to kind of help you out with all your audio related questions, your music making related questions. Uh, so I do have a website where I sell a video game loops so if you're interested uh, that's gonna be linked below in the description uh, but otherwise just go ahead and enjoy this for now all right so the first animation this little green dude with the gun that's what it sounds like right now not very gun like so I'm gonna turn down the sustain to zero then the release I'm gonna add a little bit right here uh, and then I'm going to turn on the DK. This is going to make it so that uh, we have a sun that is very abrupt, which, you know, gun, sh gun shots are kind of abrupt. You know, like pop, pop, kind of thing. Um, so, you can use your imagination, right? But, you know, that can already begin to be a kind of a gun shot sound. Uh, maybe not that one. How about. We use noise instead. So we have a pole square, triangle, and noise. Let's see what noise gives us. All right, that's started to sound more like it. I'm gonna use this one bit short cycle. Okay, that's better. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of pitch band. So I want to start like a high pitch and then go lower. Maybe even shorter in time. Yeah, that was not bad. All right, so what it did is I put on a noise, one bit short cycle, then a short decay, and then a long uh, pitch bend right here, and then it happens pretty quickly, right? So if I wanted to be slower, I would do something like make the decay last longer. Right, but that's not, we want that to happen really fast. We want that sound to happen really fast, so that's why I make the time really, right? But we don't want this to last very long, we want it to be pretty short, so, right? Something like that. All right, so let's just record the sound together with it. All right, I didn't time that too poorly. Let's see about that. Get it again. <laughs> That's not too bad. That's kind of cute. Let's go to this metal slug guy. All right, heavy machine gun. So what I'm gonna do for this one, I'm gonna add a a note repeater. So this is my MIDI effects. There we go, no repeater. So what this happens is whatever sound I press is gonna repeat it. So if I play, right, dit, 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 dit. So I want it to be a little faster than that, so I would change this right here. I'm gonna... Okay. Now there were six of them, right? So let's make it repeat five times. Okay, let's make that be a little bit uh, slower. So.
Yeah, something like that. So that's pretty simple. Like I said, uh, just use a no node repeater. Most DAWs have something like this um, as in the MIDI effects. So do a node repeater. And then the settings are pretty much the same as the other one. I just changed it from one bit short cycle to four bit pure random. It just changes the quality of the noise uh, sound. <clears throat> Here we go, let's do that. I want you to be a little faster now. So all I'm doing, as you can see it right here, I'm tapping this one and then this one, one after the other, just very quickly. Yeah, that's not bad. Turn the volume up on that one. Okay, so yeah, those are our two animations. Here's the first one. Let's just watch both of them and then we'll wrap up. All right, <laughs> super simple. Now, a cool thing you can do is you can layer things. So I would say for each one, you wanna have at least a couple of different sounds. Uh, so for example, for this one, we'll have sound one would be this, right? And then sound two, it can be the same exact thing and just uh, change the pitch, make it come out a little higher. So one of them sounds like this, and then the other one sounds like this, right? So back and forth. And then here's the other one, right? So you have two different sounds that give you uh, more variety. So when you're in game, you, see you wanna alternate or randomize them so that it doesn't just sound robotic and like always the same. Uh, now for this one, I feel like it needs a little more heft, a little more weight to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this and double it right here. See what that sounds like. Oh yeah, sounds a little better. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I like how that sounds better. Let's also make it so if you can see them, just the same sound, just lower and higher, covering a wider register. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. So copy it. There we go. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll come up next week with more uh, sound effect tutorials, and then we'll have a, a couple of weeks where will actually write an 8-bit track using Magical 8-bit Plug 2. So, alrighty guys, you have a good one and take care.